Hey guys, Wes from Broken Brush Gaming here. And today, I've got a quick tutorial on how to build gantries and walkways for your sci-fi terrain. So to get started, let's talk about some of the materials you're gonna need. First off, you're gonna need some canvas plastic mesh. It's also known as granny grating. Uh, you can pick this up at your local hobby store. It's usually used for needlework and yarn work and things like that, but it works great because it already has the kind of mesh pattern that we want. Uh, next, you're gonna need some spare bits of sprue. Um, cut to different lengths. Uh, these are going to provide the structure and the frame for your bridge. Um, as you can see, I've got some other smaller pieces here that are going to be used to reinforce on the bottom. Uh, you're also going to need some styrene strips. Uh, these are 0 0.04 by 0 0.08 uh, in thickness and width. A couple of those. And then I've got some uh, 16th inch uh, round tubing. We're going to use these uh, to make rivets and some little details. And then tool-wise, you're going to need your clippers, a sharp hobby knife, and some super glue. Um, super glue because the granny grating is not polystyrene, and so it won't work with plastic cement. All right, so let's get started here. First things first, I'm just going to take and glue our long bits of sprue here onto the frame. Now, uh, these are just the long sides, as you can see, from just a piece of GW sprue. Uh, went through and cleaned them up, uh, got all the extra flash off. I left the little round bits because they're just going to give us some extra detail to put some rivets and things like that on. So we'll just start out here, just a little bit of glue along the flat surface here. And I really like using the sprue bits because they've got a bit of an angle to them. Just give you some nice shape and variation onto your bridge. So you just want to hold those and uh, let them be glued down. Make sure they're nice and solid on your piece. I've pre-cut and pre-measured everything here. Um, just because it be a bit time consuming to show how I measure and cut everything out. Just cut things to the sizes that you want or the sizes that you need and go from there. All right, I'm going to get all the frame glued on, and then we will be back. All right, <clears throat> so now that our uh, frame is glued on, you can see we've got the bottom there, and we've got the top. I do the bottom in these shorter sections, just in case I need to lay it over any buildings. It gives us some gap where it can sit down onto the edges of buildings. So now what I've done, I've gone through and I've taken some of our styrene strip and I like using the styrene strip here because your models as you can see when you put this in your models can actually stand relatively flush even if they're over the the stripping if you use the uh, the sprue here in the middle then they would stand maybe at a funny angle and but there's really no funny angles uh, when you use the smaller stripping and so what I've done is I've cut out for this length bridge I've cut four pieces of styrene stripping, and I've gone through and pre-measured and made some markings for uh, where the strips are going to be. There's going to be one on each end, and then in between these marks is where the other ones will go. And you apply these the same way that you applied the framework, and this is just going to give your bridge a little bit more definition, make it a little, look a little more sci-fi like. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through once again with some uh, super glue, and I'm going to glue these on, and We'll be back once that's done. All right, so now we've got our cross pieces all glued in, as you can see there. Now what we've got is we've got three pieces that are long that are going to go across like this. And then we have six pieces that are cut in half for that that will basically make some triangle X type patterns across the middle just to give us a little more detail. So what I like to do is have one direction go like this, all with the long piece, and then my short pieces come back in like this. And this way they don't overlap and you've got a nice flat sort of cross section. Um, you can be as detailed as you want in your measurements here. 
the most part. I mostly eyeball this a little bit and just get it looking close enough. Uh, we're not, you know, have to go for any super detail here unless you really, really want to. But basically, that's what our uh, kind of cross hatching is going to look like, and it just gives us, like I said, a little bit more detail on the bridge. So I'm going to get those parts glued down, and we'll be back with the finished product. All right, so there you have it. A nice, simple, easy, sci-fi or industrial type bridge. A lot of different options that you could do here. Uh, you could use hot glue if you wanted. Uh, hot glue works just fine. I just happened to have super glue on hand, so that's what I went with for today. Um, if you wanted to add extra detail, you could certainly use any bits of imperial type sprue or bits that you had left over um, to give it uh, that kind of an imperial feel, any skulls or reliquaries, things like that. Um, if you really wanted to kick up the detail level, you could use your um, 16 inch tubing, uh, go in and cut off little small pieces, glue them all over to make rivets. Uh, it's a pretty time consuming process, so definitely make sure you have some time on your hands before giving that a try. But for just a nice, simple, easy sci-fi type bridge, they work really well. Um, if you have any other comments on how you do any type of gantries, leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to see what other people are doing uh, in their hobby. And if you like the video, give us a like and a subscribe on the channel. And as always, we will see you in the next video.